Hello and welcome to the channel Man United 2 Galatasaray 3. A disappointing defeat at home for the Champions League. We are almost out of the Champions League, although it is mathematically still possible to finish second in this group. But let's look at the performance. Yes, there were individual errors. The players made errors during the game. But most of the blame has to go to the manager. Let's look at the team selection. Amabat as a left back. It did not work in previous games. But Ten Hag persists in playing Amabat as a left back. Even though he's a defensive midfielder. Now, it would make more sense to switch Dalot as a left back because from a right back playing as a left back is, is, not, is not a big difference, especially for Dalot who played there before. If, I'm, if I remember correctly, Dalot plays, played as a left back against Arsenal. He did a good job against one of the best right wingers in the world in Saka. So it would make more sense to play Dalo as a left back and Lindelof as a right back because Lindelof played as a right back many times before for Man United. And even before he came to Man United, he played there for, for Benfica as well. So it would make more sense to play Lindelof as a right back, Dalo as a left back, and Amrabat in midfield next to Casemiro. We would give our team so much more balance. And then you could put Mount. I don't know if Ten Hag knows that Mount played as a winger, right winger for Chelsea before. And he did a great job as the right winger as well. Instead of playing Bruno on the right out of his position, Bruno is our most creative player. He should have played Mount as a right winger and Bruno as a number 10. Or play Granacho on the left and Rashford as a right winger. Even that. So that to make sure that Amabat is playing in the midfield to shield that defense. And then he would have to play one of the center backs next to Veran, Maguire or, or Evans. But in that way, our team will have so much more balance because we, we, we looked good going forward. We look good at attacking wise. Um, Hoyland was, was unbelievable. The two goals he scored, wow, my God. He, Hoyland was on fire. The, the problem were defensively, and I've already spoke about Anana so many times before. We did not need Anana because they, the higher, did not play with his feet. He would, would, he would kick long, but at least Dave the higher was keeping clean sheets. Dave the higher was one of the best shot stoppers, I would say, in the world. Not just in the Premier League, in the world. Dave Daher kept the make, um, broke the record last season of the most clean sheets in one season. And we got rid of him. Why? I don't know. Anana, he just spreads chaos to that defense. I think it's about time we give the, the Turkish goalkeeper, Olte, a chance. Because Olte seems calmer than Anana. And Onana reminds me of Barthez. We, we used to have a, a French goalkeeper. He was a very goalkeeper. But when he came to United, he was all about chaos. He, he failed at United because of his temperament. And I'm, I can see resemblance with Onana. Onana's temperament is not good because we're winning the game. He start making some silly passes. That pass that got Casemiro sent off. That was crazy. Gave the ball to Galatasaray striker. And then Casemiro was forced to make that challenge. That got him sent off. Onana. And plus, he doesn't stop those. He doesn't make those easy saves either. He gives silly balls away. He gives goals away. Passes to the um, opposition striker. And he doesn't make that saves. For that, for the Galatasaray first goal, Onana was way out of position. There are so many things, bad things happening in this team, and Ten Hag is not addressing those things. 
So the blame has to go to Ten Hag. Most of the blame, at least, has to go to Ten Hag. And Ten Hag is facing the prospect of getting sacked. Because unless he turns things around, and I don't see him turning things around, he looks so stubborn. I don't see him turning things around. So he's... I'm, I'm not Ten Hag out yet. But by the way things are going, no manager should be immune to get sacked. So it is possible that if things don't turn around, if he doesn't turn things around, he might get sacked by Christmas. I hope not. I hope he does turn things around. In the Champions League, it's still possible to finish second because Bayern Munich won their game. So the Bayern Munich has six points. Galatasaray has four and we have zero. So we, we can still finish second. We can still, we can still get a second spot from Galatasaray. But we need to win most of our games, most of our games that we have left in this competition. And I don't see the character from this team, and I don't see the Ten Hag make, making those changes that he needs to make. For instance, playing Bruno and Mount in the same team, the only way you're going to make it work is if you play Mount on the right. But why would you play Mount as a winger when you have wingers on the bench? When you have Garnacho, when you have Balestri? It doesn't make any sense. So what you have to do is choose between Bruno and Mount because two number 10s is detrimental to the team. Two number 10s make the midfield unbalanced. Anyway, thanks for watching. A very disappointing, another defeat. Things are going from bad to worst. And I don't see t how Ten Hag can turn things around unless he start making those big changes quickly. Consider Consider dropping the goalkeeper. Consider choosing between Mount and Bruno. One of them has to go to the bench. And Amar Bhatt has to play in the midfield next to Casemiro for the, for the upcoming games to give that defence more protection and to give the midfield and the team in general more balance. Because we're starting to look good going forward. It's just the midfield that we need to address and the defence. And of course, the mainly, especially the goalkeeper situation. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because those are the best ways to support this channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye.